Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today we're going to look at 4XML. And we're going to use 4XML to create a comma separated list um, as a result, as an output. So on screen here, I've got two selects that look at two different tables within the AdventureWorks database. And what I want is, as an example, um, here is a list of the departments for uh, this particular company. And here is a list of the people who work for the company or their national insurance numbers. And what I want is a query that will return me all of the departments and the national insurance numbers of the people who work in those departments. So I can write this select here. That shows me the departments and those national insurance of the people who work in those departments. But actually what I want to see is a single line for department document control. And then in the next column, a single line of comma separated national insurance numbers. Okay, so let's look at how we can do that. I'll start a new query. Um, first of all, let us get let us get start with the column that we want to create the comma separated list from. Um, so that is the national insurance number. So there's our national insurance numbers. Um, we can put at the end of here and um, select our field from human resources for XML path. That will now return us a single column written using um, separating each of the values with XML tags. Now, in some versions of SQL, um, you don't get these tags and in some you do. Um, so right now you can see National Insurance ID number is a tag and then you've got this number 10708 but and then you've got a closing tag then you've got another opening tag and there's the number again so all of the numbers are now um separated in using xml tags and what i can also do is i can say actually i want it to be comma separated so i'm going to put a comma here so now you can see that each of our tags is separated by comma you see that comma there i don't actually want the national insurance id number tag so to do to get rid of that um i'm going to put that so as uh, an in square bracket you put text followed by um open and close brackets and that will remove the tags now what you've got is this comma separated list here Still an XML format. In fact, you can click on it and it will open it up in another window. Um, so it, it's a it's a hyperlink because it's it's XML uh, in the XML format. In fact, if I go back and rerun that, now it's got the tags around it. If I click on it, it will open it up with the little tags. See that around it. So um, anyway, so let's go back to getting rid of the tags. Um, so right now it is <clears throat> it's still a clickable uh, link, it's still set up like XML it is, it's got a comma at the very beginning here so let's deal with those um, bits all in one go so what we can do is we're going to use this function called stuff ridiculous name but there it is and we're going to wrap our select here within stuff so I'm going to put all of the um, parts of the function stuff are going to be separate to our select for visibility. Um, so if I run that, so a couple of things have happened here. <clears throat> what stuff does is it removes text from the beginning of a piece of string so what we're saying here is get the results of this um 
And in this case, start at position one, character one, and remove one character. So it's starting at the very first character, which is a comma, and it's removing that character. If I put a, a four here, it would remove the first four characters. But I, I'm starting the first character, and I want you to remove the first character. What, just one character. So that gets rid of the comma. Also, the result of stuff is, is text. So it also gets rid of that formatting. So we no longer have... Um, it's no longer an XML link anymore. Stuff has made it into just text. So, okay, now we've got comma separated list. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to join our department to this result. So to do that, um, what we're going to do now, if I just go back to here, You'll see that in order to join department to employee, you've got this table in the middle, this employee department history table. We need that. Um, we need all three tables. So we need this linking table here as part of our select. So let's just go back here and put this linking table in. In fact, I want to copy it from here. If I just copy that. So within our select here, select um, comma, that's insurance number as text from human resources dot employee and then we're going to do an inner join to our table employee department history table so if i run that <coughs> okay so there's nothing obvious <coughs> excuse me nothing obvious has changed yet the next thing we need to do is to link our department to this so outside of this stuff here we're going to do um, a from and we're going to put our department here and we're going to include the name of our department at the beginning here <clears throat> and one more thing we need to do now we've got this stuff here and then we've got this this department table we need to somehow join those up um, and the reason we're putting the department table out of here is because we want to include the department as a separate, uh, the name of the department as a separate um, set of results, separate to the stuff uh, SQL. So we've got this from here and within our original SQL, we're going to do where each dot department equals de dot department. Now, if I run that, we're going to get the results that we expect, that we want. There they are. In fact, I'll just do an order by. <clears throat> so there's our results, and that's exactly kind of what I was looking for. Let's just go through a little bit the makeup of this, because all of a sudden it's, it's quite a complicated looking um, piece of SQL. First of all, to note, we began with this select here, albeit without that where clause. We get, began with this select, and we, we can run that select independently, and it will return the data. Then we added the stuff around it. Um, oh yeah, I need the select, sorry. So then we added the stuff around it, and it returned us that. Now, all we were doing there was we, we were saying select stuff. Select the result of this select, if you like. Um, and then we added the extra bits being the department. Now, it's worth noting that here in this where clause, the, where, the, the inner select, this bit here within stuff, knows about this outer select so if i do where and i type department i want to join it to my outer bit here this de if i do de it knows what de is and it knows what's available within de so that's quite cool so i can link the link goes here and the reason that it goes here is because here if i do where de dot department equals if i do eh it shouldn't know what eh is it doesn't know it doesn't know the makeup of this the select within the stuff so you need to do your joins in here and it's important to do your joins in here because if you don't have your join if you aren't joining this bit to the outer sequel what are you going to get 
the wrong results. So as soon as you've got your <clears throat> inner select, as soon as you've created then an outer, some sort of link to an outer table, then you can you can do your, your condition here where where the inner select equals the outer select. And we've got a from here, because <clears throat> if you look at the SQL, all we're doing is saying, if I get rid of that again, initially all we're doing is saying get select the results of this we're not doing we're not looking at tables or anything uh, from from a point of view of, of writing sql with a from clause we're just saying get select the result of this query here so because of that um our our next logical um, statement is from because we haven't already used from so we're saying select um stuff the results of here and then we say from human resources and then we start building our sql again here and we can add any amount of tables within here you know this outer bit if we want to see more information we can add any amount of um, tables here on this outer bit um, it's this bit here that is doing our concatenation so this is the bit this is the only within here is all we need to worry about when it comes to this column the concatenation uh, data when it comes to showing more then we come out here and we start writing our uh, our extra joins and our extra tables we start writing it out here and then as long as we've got a link of sorts within here to the out of it everything will work fine and we get the results that we want it's a little confusing I, I hope you've kind of been able to follow it um i'll put this sequel in the description of the uh, of the video just so you can you can uh, easily take it and use it um and hopefully you can kind of see because it, it's separate you can see how this stuff is written note that you've got the two brackets here um at the beginning of stuff so um have a have a play uh, if you've got any queries or, or questions, please drop me a message. Uh, I appreciate your time. See you next time.